All right, everybody. We're back. We made it. Another week of college basketball is pretty much over. Um, of course, there are games that are going to start, you know, at some point today. But we got to get this week out of the way first. And, well, COVID decided to rampage through a couple of games, through a couple of teams. I did say last week, you know, was Louisville going to play Wisconsin? That did not happen. Uh, Wisconsin ended up having to replace, you know, the Louisville game with, you know, somebody else with Rhode Island. The Michigan State-Virginia game didn't happen. And Baylor has paused their, you know, their activities and stuff like that due to COVID. So it's rather unfortunate. Um, but the Big Ten ACC Challenge was won by the Big Ten this year. Um Big Ten dominated the Tuesday night games. ACC came back a little bit, you know, in the Wednesday games. Florida State, you know, they played pretty close with Indiana. And they also beat Florida this Saturday, um, or rather last Saturday morning. Um, and despite that, um, hopefully Keontae Johnson's okay. He collapsed in that game. And he went to the hospital. Um, he should be all right. I don't know. I don't know what the whole deal was, but um, you know, get well, get some, get better, brother, and you know, we'll see you again soon. You know. Um, but the biggest my team of the week is the Division Two school Fort Hayes State for beating Kansas State. You don't just lose to a Division Two school like this. You don't just do that. It's very very surprising to see Kansas State lose like the way they did. Just absolutely, you know, I don't even know what to say. You know, I mean, Kansas State was just like, come on now, you, got, you guys, you guys got to do better. It's insanity. So, and may, maybe the real player of the week for me is Luka Garza. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Against North Carolina, you know, Iowa went off. The team had 17 three-pointers. You know, guys like Bohannon were going off, making big plays against the Tar Heels, and the Tar Heels had nobody step up for them. You know, then Garza himself, you know, he got a double-double in the North Carolina game. Then he proceeded to score 30-plus in each of the other games, especially the game against Iowa State. And I don't know about the game with um, Northern Illinois, but the Iowa State game, he dominated that game. Dominated it. Absolutely just crazy. Illinois, Duke, you know, they Illinois looked great from three-point range. Duke kind of looked rough out there, you know. And then, you know, it, I mean, it was just kind of rough for the Dukies. So very rough night on Tuesday night. For the for the Carolina teams, very rough day. And then Illinois just had to lose, you know, you know Saturday or was it, yeah it was Saturday against Missouri. I don't know how the world they lost this game because they were trailing pretty much the entire game. I know there was a lot of fouls in that game. I didn't get to watch this whole game, unfortunately. But uh, you know, I, I ended up looking at some highlights, there was some ref ball up in there and everything was just crazy so, you know, Missouri has won, what, three in a row now against Illinois? Very crazy stuff right there and I'm glad this non-conference rivalry has been preserved you know as far as Creighton, Kansas goes very fun game, very fast paced game, Jalen Wilson and McCormick Inside, they were going off. It was crazy. Creighton's shooters, the shooters, they were they just had shooters shooting the three ball everywhere, and it was just lovely to see. What a great game this was! And I'm, and I'm very sad that it came down to a missed three throw, um, to a missed foul shot by Creighton. Very sad that it came down to that because I would have loved to see you know a final shot or something like that. Whatever. Whatever, man. We need more great games like that, you know, this season. And we're going to get them. I can guarantee you that. 
San Diego State, Arizona State, you know, Sun Devils just simply didn't have the height. They didn't have they didn't have what they needed. They didn't have anything. They didn't have an answer for San Diego State. Um, Shackle just at twenty five in that game. They kept making plays. You know, the, the defense for the Aztecs kept making plays inside the paint and made a lot of three pointers. I mean, it was a three point party out there. You know. At Arizona State, it was a big time, big time victory for San Diego State. Just a big time performance, and they're gonna. I'm, I'm pretty sure Arizona State's probably gonna fall out the top 25. I mean, Arizona State did beat Grand Canyon, but this was a beat down basically by the Aztecs, and the, the Aztecs have some big games coming up this week as well. So Saturday, you know, there wasn't really too much that went on. Uh, and Sunday too. Um, aside from the fact that Kentucky, you know, they're now one to four. They trailed by twenty two against Notre Dame at the half. Ended up only losing by one though, but they trailed by twenty two. Just a rough season. Rough season for Calipari and the boys down there in Kentucky. Again, the Keontae Johnson stuff happened, and it was kind of rough. Um, I didn't see the whole, I didn't see that game because it was early Saturday, but I mean, it was just rough seeing the Twitter reactions and stuff like that. It's just like, man, you hope that you hope that things like that don't happen. But I'm, but I'm also Cade Cunningham. First time I've spoken up about him. You know, Oklahoma State is six and zero. Oh. I don't know how in the world they're six and zero, but they are six and zero. Cunningham beat Washington State. I mean, not Washington State, Wichita State. You know, for Oklahoma State on a last second shot. You know, yeah, it was a, and it was just. I mean, it's just very surprising. You know, maybe Oklahoma State could do something in the Big Twelve. Maybe and as far as the rest of the Big Twelve goes, um, you know. West Virginia is really the only team worth talking about here because they shut down Richmond on Sunday afternoon. I didn't get to see this game, of course. The NFL takes priority over college basketball on a Sunday. Uh, but Richmond went 6 for 26 from three-point range. And, of course, that's a recipe for disaster. That's a recipe for an L. So Richmond does indeed lose to West Virginia. Uh, yeah. This week was um, not as interesting as I thought it would be. You know, you know, all the games that we that I thought were going to be very, very good, very, very fun, ended up getting canceled. The games that ended up happening this week, you know, there was really only about one or two that looked very, very good. You know, Creighton, Kansas is probably one of the best games of the season already. But um, there is some trouble. There is some signs of trouble for some teams, such as Kentucky, already. Florida kind of looked iffy. That they were already iffy because they trailed Army that pretty much that entire game. So the fact that Florida State beat them, you know, really didn't do too much. I mean, Florida State themselves, I got to see them a little bit more. I mean, they had a tough time with Indiana and everything like that. And the Big 12s look like the Big 12 again. You know, just a damn good conference, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It is just, just fun stuff right there. But, yeah, that's going to pretty much do it here. I'll, I'll see y'all later on today for, you know, the um, preview for this week. So don't really have a lot to say for this week, but, you know, we're, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care. Have a good Monday.